Welcome back for another episode of Grindstone Workshop. Now this week, Robert asked me to meet him at the Skybound offices, but due to uh, artistic differences, I am not technically allowed in the offices. Oh! Oh. Hey, a water scroll. Let's see what it says. Hey Brian, what do you think of my latest delivery startup? Carrier pigeons are so 1800s, but delivery eagles, that's the future. Anyway, I love the Wusa cosplay you made last week. I might just wear it myself, but I still feel like there's something missing. Why don't you give me another bird I can add to my fleet of delivery eagles? I want you to make a flying version of Wusa's bird. Well, that's easy. I'll just go get a live bird and color it. Don't just go buy a live bird. I want you to use both your artistic and technical skills. Oh. All right, little buddy. Looks like you're being replaced, but I don't want you to be sad. I want you to go live your life and be free. All right, little buddy? Show me what you got. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need some help for this one. Hey, Edgar, how would you like to be on my team for a bird-making extravaganza? No, thank you. I already have a real job. Oh. Hey, Michael! No. Oh. Uh. Excuse me, ma'am! Sir, would you like to be on... So Ian's still at work, and he technically didn't say that we couldn't film here, so we're back at Ian's house! Woo! Well, I had a little trouble finding help for this week, and I, uh, I have no idea how to make actual flying birds. But I ordered online some of those Ornith, Ornith bird-making kits, and ooh! I think we'll be able to kill two birds with one stone here. <laughs> ooh, no offense. Uh, special delivery from Brian? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, good mail carrier. Uh, how would you like to be part of a bird-making extravaganza? Hard pass. Uh, that's fair. Ian? <gasps> Ian? Oh my god, oh my god. Hey, is that? It's Granny Mahara. Be cool, man. Be cool. I'm looking for Ian. I'm building him a state-of-the-art robotic security system. Apparently somebody keeps breaking into his house. Weird. <laughs> uh, I actually know Ian, and I'm actually uh, also dealing with a bit of a technical conundrum, so I was wondering if I... How would you like to be part of a bird-making extravaganza? Well, I suppose I could help you while I'm waiting for Ian. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, he's giving me so good, so good, so good. Shall we? Yeah. Best episode ever. All right, Grant. Welcome to our home within Ian's home. I am so glad that you have agreed to help us with this week's challenge. Uh, you are definitely going to lend an air of legitimacy to this show. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, what is it that we're building? Wusa's bird, but this time a flying version. Is that Dan Dan the Telegram Man? Dan Dan the Telegram Man! Don't encourage him. Okay, basically I got these awesome looking kits, but they have all these little pieces and I... Well, I have no idea where to begin. Okay, well, first off, technically any machine that flies by flapping its wings is an ornithopter. Ornithopter, knew that word. Yeah. And looks like what you have here is a pretty basic, easy to build kit that should be able to fly, flapping its wings without an engine. Let's get to it. All right, I think we need to start by punching out these little cutouts. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I see like we've, we've got all kinds of tiny little uh, dental tools and things. <laughs> this is going to form the part of the assembly that the rubber band goes on. And you wind up the rubber band here, and then when you're ready to fly, just let go. And watch it soar into the sky, majestic like a delivery eagle. Cyanoacrylate works great with balsa. Also known as super glue. Super glue. Uh, this is gonna form the back end. So if this is the bird's body and the wings are here, this is the tail. In the world of aeronautics engineering, how is the tail gonna help me make this thing fly? Well, it does two things. There's a stabilization force, but it also, if you angle it, can give you a little bit of lift. <gasps> so that we don't immediately nosedive. Nose Are you done yet, Brian? He just 12 and up my butt. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. Don't glue your fingers. <laughs> if you're dealing with glue and it won't stop sticking to you, use tweezers. All right, now on to the wings. Are we using, okay, so now we're using our heavier Easy. struts. Yep. Okay, so now this little uh, piece of wire goes okay. into the thing you just glued. Okay. And if your hole is not blocked, that's good. <laughs> it should slip right in. Thank God. You're embarrassing me in front of Grant and Mahara. Come on, come on. 
It should slip Got right it. in. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> that one went much better. So now it's time to build the body. Okay. Get that part that you first built. Uh -huh. And your main body stick. I have the, the child version because that is what I can be entrusted with. Using them tweezers. That's a lot. Nope, of glue. still got glue on myself. I, it's a lot of glue. It's a lot of glue. If you want to put a head on your bird. Oh, yeah. So you need that piece. Oh, so I need, okay. So, cosplay tip if you're dealing with a lot of pre made little pieces, don't necessarily pop them all out right at the beginning because it's easier to lose them. So, if you keep them in these little trays here, then you can pull them out as you need them. Keep in mind, Mm -hmm. Anything that you're going to add to the bird decoration-wise mm -hmm. is going to affect the weight. And, oh. and if your weight isn't exactly correct, like if you don't have the right balance, it could seriously affect your flight. So don't just glue a lot of feathers to it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> These, your wings, your flapping wings. See this right here is the, the crank. Mm. And so all these things uh, are going to point in the same direction. In there you go. There. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, look at that. You know what? Coming to Skycom <laughs> Games this fall, <laughs> Battle Ornithopters <laughs> with Brandy Mara. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh, ah, 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 I am victorious. <laughs> okay, so last step here actually is connecting oh. the wings to this main crank. So that, that is now attaching yeah. our wing struts to our crankshaft. Right, okay. give it a little crank. <gasps> yeah. Rubber band time. So is this our, is this our bird muscle? That's it, that's our, <laughs> that's our power source. Just wind this up, right? Are we getting kind of like double force out of it by doing that? Uh, yeah, actually, you're multiplying. Yeah, it's like math. Rubber bands. All right. So like great. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> it flips! Oh, it's so cool. I mean, I knew it would work all along. So now that the the bones of our birds are established and function, let's add feathers. So uh, we need something really, really lightweight. Tissue paper. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. So we just cut out our wings and our tail? Yep. And then we glue it to the frame. Just anything? Yeah. Anything you want. You said anything. Skeletor! <laughs> Damn you, He-Man! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's... <laughs> Do you think it'll fly? I don't think so, man. You probably will like this one better. <laughs> Is that me? Yes. <laughs> Do you like it, Grand Simahara? I love it, but it's still not gonna fly. Dang it! Ready. Let's see which one of us is more is more airworthy. All right, three, two, one. You went further, so I guess you win. <laughs> So what if, oh, what if I take one of these balloons and I blow it up and I cover it in glue and kind of do like a paper mache thing and then I can just like pop the balloon and pull out because because this isn't actually that light. Do you think that would work? I have no idea. You're like, you're in, you're in your own territory now, man. <laughs> it sounded like I'm divesting yourself from my fate. I'm just gonna use some uh, kind of spray adhesive here with some tissue paper. Tip. Use aerosol cans outside. I think it's dry enough, so let's give it a test. Okay, I've attached the head. I've got my pretty streamers on there. Is there a technical term for adding glitter to something that shouldn't have glitter on it? There is now. <laughs> it's called foresting. <laughs> I am honored. He's looking kind of roostery. Yeah. <laughs> that is a that is a tropical rooster. <laughs> so what kind of bird does Woosa have exactly? Uh, I want to say it's kind of like uh, if a cockatiel went to Burning Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like your bird body, your goose body. Thank you, I'm very proud yeah. of my bird body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's just so many good details. I think yours may look a little closer to uh, to what it's supposed to look like. Oh, 
All right, my glorious little glittery goose. Now's your time to fly! Is it uh, supposed to do that? I think you need to counterbalance. Uh, something small, relatively lightweight. How about a toothpick? Yeah. yeah, that could probably work. Uh, thanks, mail carrier guy. Yeah. Why are you still here? Oh, I just started watching. Now I'm really invested. Great addition to Robert's fleet of eagles! Ooh, I just summoned a fire mushroom. Is that good? Uh, keep grinding. Oh my god, today was amazing. I have learned so much and it was such a pleasure to work with you. Would you possibly be interested in joining our grindstone build team to create more daring, more exciting, more exhilarating props and costumes for the foreseeable future? I'm sorry, Brian. I've already got a real job. Oh, I don't. But you know, I had a lot of fun. Thanks so much for bringing me on the show. Anytime. Hey, Grant, yeah. Did you see anything, um, suspicious when you were over here? Wait, you saw Brian here? He said what? No, um, covering my garage in tissue paper cutouts is not the same thing as remodeling. Yeah. I'm so getting a restraining order. Hey there, thanks for watching this week's episode of Grindstone Workshop. Be sure to check back every week for a brand new episode. And be sure to like Skybound Games on Facebook and follow our good friends over at Comp to us. Until then... Ryan, what uh, are you doing here? We were just finishing up Goga.